When working with exponents, the product rule and the quotient rule are pretty easy rules that you can follow to simplify expressions whenever you need to. The product rule, just to review, the product rule states that when you're multiplying two numbers and the bases are the same, you can just take those exponents and add them together. So with the quotient rule, it's the opposite. If you're dividing two numbers and the bases are the same, both x, you can just take those two exponents and subtract them. So x to the a times x to the b power is equal to x to the a plus b power. For the quotient rule, x to the a divided by x to the b power is equal to x to the a minus b power. I have I've recorded videos that explain uh, how to use those and show examples. That's pretty easy. It gets a little more complicated though when you start throwing coefficients, like numbers in front of variables. That can make things a little more complicated and you might get confused about how exactly you should handle those coefficients. So that's what I'd like to show you here in this video. So let's start with this one over here. I've got these two terms here that are being multiplied together, so with that multiplication it, su it suggests that at some point we're going to be using that product rule. But what should we use it on? So I think for this one, uh, the easiest way to illustrate what to do here would be to take that expression and break it up into smaller pieces. So if we break it up and rearrange it, this is just a multiplication problem, negative 2 times x to the fourth power times 5 times x to the third power. So if I just break that up and rearrange it, let's put the numbers first. So we have negative 2 times 5 times x to the fourth power times x to the third power. I just put the numbers first and the variables second. At this point, it becomes a little more obvious. I just have negative 2 times 5, which of course is simply negative 10. And now how am I going to handle those two uh, variables, x to the fourth power times x to the third power? Well, that's a case where we can just use this product rule. And of course the product rule states that when the bases are the same, they're both x's, you just add the exponents. So this is going to be x to the seventh power. So this whole thing can simplify down to negative 10 x to the seventh power. So when you have those coefficients, you can just multiply those coefficients together, then use the product rule on the variables. If we come over here, 28 x to the tenth power divided by 7 x to the fourth power. On this one, let's do the same thing but let's kind of separate it with the numbers and the variables in two separate pieces. So let's start with, let's say this is equal to 28 over 7 times, and now let's do the x's, the x terms, x to the tenth power divided by x to the fourth power. And now we can do those two pieces separately. 28 divided by 7, of course, is just 4. And x to the 10th power divided by x to the 4th power. Here's a case where we can use that simple quotient rule. The bases are both x. We're dividing, so we can just take those exponents, keep the base the same, take those exponents and subtract them. 10 minus 4 is 6. So all of this simplifies down to 4x to the 6th power. So that's how you can use how you can use the product rule and the quotient rule when you also have some coefficients in there to deal with. You can just divide or multiply the numbers, and then use the product rule and the quotient rule, and it makes simplifying things pretty easy.